Oh. Oh, yeah, that is Chicago's own Katie Caden, who just made it on to this season of The Voice. Good morning. Thanks so much for being Good morning. here. Thanks for having me, y'all. We should tell everybody she can't talk a lot about the show, so don't get mad. We're not going to ask her. We're not allowed to. That's okay, yes, though. But, but awesome. You're doing great stuff. That was awesome. You're a blues singer here in Chicago. Talk us through your start. Started in church, right? Like a lot I of singers. I started in church, yes, with my family as a a bunch of musical people. Mm -hmm. So we all sang together. My mom sang folk music and gospel music and and that's where I got my start. But when did you actually start singing on your own? Because I know that's a transition that some people yeah, sing together as a group, but it's sure. hard to do it solo. It is. I was afraid to do it. I didn't know how to get my start. Um, I went to my first open mic at the Underground Wonder Bar. Um, Lonnie Walker was the owner. It closed down a few years back, which breaks my heart. That was my home away from home. Mm -hmm. And she heard me at my first open mic and said, Katie, I need you here every week. And, oh, and I'm awesome. like, oh, I don't have that much music to do. <laughs> and I made it happen. Yeah. And she just let me do my thing, which oh. is lovely. Did you yeah. always want to make this your career? Or did it start out something that was just your family, and then you kind of someday decided to make it a career? This is the only thing I'm really good at, <laughs> <laughs> to be honest with you. I mean, like, I'm like, I got to do something. <laughs> style come from? I'm looking at the big beautiful glasses <laughs> and we saw your video clips there with yes. this different style. Where does that come so, from? So when I was younger I was really insecure about myself, about my size, about you know I didn't really feel like I, I fit in and um, I thought it was super dope to wear lensless glasses. Yes there's no lenses <laughs> in those glasses. When I was a teenager I got made fun of and then when I hit my 30s I said to myself I'm bringing back all the things that I thought was cool yes. and owning it. And now, like, I'm super dope. Mm -hmm. right? yeah. 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 Too much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Confirmed dopeness. No, I think sure. a lot dopeness. of people can relate to that. A yeah. lot of people can relate to your confidence yeah. and just the story you just Aww. shared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what was it like when you were on the first show and they started to turn their chairs around? It was amazing. The, when the door, red doors opened, I think that was when I was nervous. I wasn't really nervous. And then I think that was the moment of nervousness. <laughs> Is that right? Word? Yeah. Um, and I, when I walked in there, I just made sure to take a breath. And I'm like, I've played on so many stages. This is like no any other stage. Mm -hmm. And I kind of had to go there in my head. And when they started turning around, it was amazing. John turned first. Mm -hmm. I was like, John. <laughs> 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 yeah, BFFs. Right. Not yet. Right, but, but you're working on it. Right, yeah. right, right. What do you think about the blues scene here in Chicago? Because mm -hmm. I personally wish that there was more of it around today. There are not too many places you can go in the city right now and hear live music yes. like that. Well, I'm a big fan. I hang out a lot at Blues on Halstead and at Kingston, Kingston Mines as well. Yeah. Nice, nice. Um, what I hope to see from the blues is the next generation. I grew up in Chicago, so singing the blues was like, you just do that. Yeah, mm -hmm. Play the blues, that's what we do. And um, that's an other community that just like welcomed me on the stage and welcomed me as an artist. And I learned so much from them. I hope to see the next generation um, of Chicagoans going into the blues clubs and learning from these phenomenal musicians. There's so much good music in Chicago. Mm -hmm. and. I want to encourage people go out to see live music. Yes. Yeah. That's the way to see yes. it, right? Yeah, yeah. Totally. I am I loving love your entire vibe. Yeah. Every are you? I, I, yes. I'm loving your guys' vibe. You're awesome. I think you are on this meteoric rise. Are they hiring? <laughs> they, do they need a floor? No, right. You're gonna be too busy. I think like, you're gonna oh, okay, be too busy. okay. But what I guess what I'm saying is, is like, are you taking moments to like pinch yourself and realize how cool this moment is, or is it just such a blur? It's happening so fast uh, that it's just whizzing by. A little bit of both. Like, I, I want to kind of. Um, um, I'm a journaler, so like after my experiences happen, I'm like, okay, I better write this down yeah. nice. because I'm gonna forget about it. I'm yeah. gonna forget what they say and just like, it's the feeling that I've had on the show. It feels like band camp on steroids or something, <laughs> like with famous people, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. And everybody's so lovely. It's it's a great experience to have top artists telling you. You're awesome. Yeah, is like I loved Kelly Clarkson's reaction to yes. you. Oh. She's hilarious. That was yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have an entire city behind yes. you. We are oh, rooting for yes. you. We, Chicago always roots for the home team. And you have yeah, a new album do. out. I do. I do have an album. It's 
Katie Caden. Okay. Um, my name, I didn't know what to name it, but I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> That's an easy way to go. <laughs> you know. gonna, yeah, call it me. Yeah, exactly. yeah, my first full length album. I'm super excited about it. You can get it on iTunes and Spotify. And, and yeah. as you continue to rise, you're coming back here to yes. sing for us every time, I will. right? All right, that's a promise. I will. We Especially just got on the promise. There we go. Okay, so be sure to root for Katie on this season of The Voice and check out her debut album available now everywhere you get your music and on katiecaden.com.